What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a bootable drive using Rufus. We're gonna use Ubuntu in this example, and uh, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Moni Dev. Thanks for being a channel supporter. So let's jump into the video itself. The first thing you wanna do is download your bootable installer or uh, device. So we wanna download um, Ubuntu. So we're gonna go to download and choose Get Ubuntu Desktop. You can see that we have the 22.04 long-term support release right here. So we're gonna download that one and we'll just wait until the download starts. And there it goes. Now, while this is going, we're gonna download the software we need to prepare the device. We need Rufus. This is at rufus.ie and uh, this is just a bootable USB drive formatter. So uh, we're gonna download Rufus uh, by choosing the appropriate version for the software you're using. I'm gonna go ahead and download the portable version of the Windows X64 uh, software because I have Windows 11 and that's a 64-bit software and I don't wanna install it, so I'm just gonna use the portable one. Now, we need to find a USB drive. I found my old uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare uh, USB drive. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. Hopefully it has enough space. If not, I've got another Kensington over here that should work fine. But um, it'd be nice to put this into use. I don't think I've actually ever used it on anything before. Let's go ahead and uh, plug this in somewhere. Now, the drive has opened up. If we go into this PC, we can see that we now have a four gigabyte drive. Uh, so I don't know if this is actually going to fit. This is 4.6 gigabytes. That's probably not going to be enough space. So let's go ahead and use our Kensington over here instead. Let's right click on the drive and uh, eject. All right. So now here we go. This one has 15 gigabytes. That's more than enough. Uh, so we'll just wait for this Ubuntu installer to finish or Ubuntu downloader to finish. And uh, once the download is complete, we'll open up Rufus and get started. All right, so the download has finished. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Rufus. Hit yes, if it asks you for permission to open. And here is the Rufus user interface. We're gonna choose our device. Make sure you choose the correct uh, drive letter to make sure it's the USB you inserted. Then we're gonna choose the ISO. So we'll go ahead and click. So we'll go ahead and click on select and choose our Ubuntu ISO. Now it's automatically set up all of our settings. We don't have to make any other changes. And all we have to do is hit start. Now we can choose right in ISO mode and click OK. And it's gonna warn you, it is gonna erase everything on the drive. So make sure you're using a blink drive or one that you've already backed up and press OK. And this process will take a while. All right, so that is finished now and it should be ready to go. Let's go ahead and refresh this and see if anything shows up. Yep, there's all of our files and we can test it out. Let's go ahead and close this out. Go to this PC, right click on Ubuntu and eject. And that's it. Now we have a bootable USB drive. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Peace.